Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Eric here over at the Sideshow Guys. Today we got a little project that uh, some of us need to do and some of us don't. I'm here with the uh, 21 Polaris Pro XP and I haven't been in the uh, clutch cover in a while and I think it's time to uh, give it a good uh, wipe down and cleaning. So I thought I would uh, film the process and see if you guys uh, can learn anything or if, uh, give me any tips or tricks if I'm doing something different. So maybe we'll get right into it and I'm going to take off the clutch cover and we're going to get into this clutch and belt and give her a good cleaning. So I uh, hope you enjoy that and I'll try to walk, uh, I'll walk you through it. So you're going to need a quarter inch ratchet, an extension, and a 8 millimeter. Let's see if I can get in here. Let's see if I can get you guys in here and you guys can have a look. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see that. Okay, let's get in here and we'll crack these, crack these loose. There's a, there's a ton of them, but you just go around. And this would be the same procedure if you have belt issues on the trail or you get flooded there is a drain plug at the bottom here I don't know if you can see it I'll bring you in after but there is a drain plug in case you do get water but if you have to if you have to um, change your belt or something this is uh, this will be the same same process you don't need an extension everywhere some of them some of them you do. I put a little wobbly bit on here too. Sometimes it helps helps to get in and out of here, but they're not very tight. I don't know the torque spec. You'd have to go in the manual to see what the torque spec is, but there is a torque spec for these. I don't they just go into plastic. So they all have to be too tight. Now I did. Like I said before, I, I didn't buy this machine from new. I bought it used from somebody, and I don't know, the first time, and the I don't know if he ever had the if he ever had the uh, belt cover off here. But when I went to take one off, it it snapped one of those bolts on the top, so I have to I had to put in a uh, just another bolt. And these bolts are captured in the cover. So they stay there. So when you pull it off, it helps out. You don't have to worry about all these bolts going flying. And you just take your time, go around one by one. This is not the uh, the glorious part. But it'll be interesting to see how well this has been sealed up. I haven't cleaned it since our West Virginia ride. I don't think you guys have seen that footage yet. There's lots of footage. So we're, we're working our way through it. But uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll get it out to you guys soon. Okay, she should be. Oh boy, there's water in there. Huh, that's not a good thing. Hey, you guys see a little bit of water dripping out of there when I popped that loose. So that could have been from my last ride. Or maybe a pressure washer. Let's see what we got in here. I wonder if I should take it off up here. Oh, we can probably push this up. So I sometimes take this off, it's a little bit easier. Pull the cover off. Well, there was. There was water inside, it's wet in here. But let's see where we got all that water from. Let's get you in here to have a look here. So, here's the, here's the clutch. Oh, you can see I got like some, some mold and stuff growing up in here. She was due for a cleaning for sure. But overall, belt looks good. 
clutches need a good wash. So let's get in here, get some air. Let's get her, get her cleaned up. So we're gonna grab our tool. Might as well pull the belt off while we're here. You can see, grab this little tool for my kit. You know, this just comes in your, uh, I think comes in your Polaris factory tool kit. Let's see if I can get this out of the way, maybe not. So you thread this in here. And what that does is it's gonna spread. I think this is what they call your secondary. Just thread it down. Grab a bungee cord, put this out of the way. Now you just uh, walk a belt off of it. Let's see which way we're gonna go here. She was dirty. There we go. Pull it off primary. And here she is. Here's the belt. She looks in good shape. You're supposed to worry about the edging. That's the most important part. Not sure how much you're going to be able to uh, see that on camera. But. All in all, she looks pretty good. I haven't spun it too much. Maybe there you can see a little mark. But, oh yeah, it's, she's, she's seen some better days. It's all this stuff here, is this, it's like soap or something maybe. I don't know, it's like pretty dirty in there. Okay, we got a little air hose here, a little attachment. Let's uh, let's see what we can get out of here. Okay, that looks about good. They're gonna give it a nice wipe down now. So they say use alcohol, wipe down these sheaves with a little bit of Scotch Brite. So uh, let me see what I can grab and uh, get in here and. Uh, wipes them down you can see my secondary's got a lot of stuff built up on the top end here so get in here and it's it's pretty rough on the inside so I gotta get in there and clean it up pretty good ten mil that spring oh probably because this was on there so I guess I guess you should undo undo that bolt before you pull it off because it's putting tension on there and then you got to watch all your shims here make sure that you get them all and you don't lose any so these are the shims in case you're like it's tough to shift or you find that this is spinning while in park or neutral, it's it's these are the shims that you got to uh, put in. And then that adjusts this in and out so the belt rides right in the middle. So. Got the secondary off here. You can see with this. Now they do say mark it. I might have my mark here. And then I have another mark on the back side, so I know when I pull it off, it's got to go the same way. This kind of spins off, and and uh, boy, oh boy, you can look at. It. You can see she definitely needs a little bit of she needs a little cleaning. And this one's got like a some mold on it, I guess from from when I washed it. I got to make sure I plug that intake and exhaust because looks like moisture is getting in there, but. That's why they say get the green scotch bright ball alcohol, put it on there, and then you just wanna just wanna work it, work it through in, in a cross pattern. 
cross hatches they call it. So you go one way, and then you go the other way. So let's just get this majority of the stuff off. Just regular maintenance to do to your clutches. This makes it shift smooth. Remember your belt rides on this stuff. So you gotta make sure you keep it nice and clean. I guess those Honda guys and some of these Yamaha guys, they don't need to worry about this, but what are you gonna do, right? So I usually go out one way and then I'll go come in and go across and that creates that cross hatch pattern. Just helps grip the uh, belt. Okay, now for the other half. The other half's the half with the rollers in it. Can you guys see that? So you get the rollers, you wanna make sure that those spin free. I'm probably due for a change in my rollers, but might get those on order. surface rust Lines. You got your washer and your shims. Put a torque wrench on that one. Again? Yeah. Okay, I click, that's good. <laughs> You. Get a bucket of uh, soapy water, Dawn dish soap I use, and uh, just give it a little wash. It's really the edging you're worried about. You should get a brush, brush it. Be surprised how dirty this belts get. It's maintenance like this. Help the longevity of your belt, your clutches, and just your overall enjoyment on the trail. Nobody likes, nobody likes a busted belt. You know, so if you do a little bit of work at home, hours of fun on the trail. You rinse that off, and should be good to go. We'll give the uh, belt cover here a wash. Make sure we go through the seal here. Put it back together, reverse process. I gotta put this back in. Remember when you're putting the belt back, you wanna be able to read the words. So you're gonna put it on this way. So I can read the words around the primary here. There she goes. And then Let's get a couple of these started.
I lost the footage of me cleaning the primary, but I did the same process as I did with the secondary. I used a scotch bright and some alcohol and I wiped it all down and it was all nice and clean. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you guys found it uh, interesting. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And uh, again, thanks for watching.